Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Crystallis, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So I decided to like get some more uh, Lysis plants. Wow, that was some dumb hits right off the bat. Over at uh, Portoa to prevent paralysis. Because even though I was allowed to move, my charge attacks would cancel automatically. Also, I decided to like uh, check on my surroundings and I actually went to the wrong cave. I'm supposed to go to the cave I was to later for something else, but that east cave where you get the fog lamp, which I think would be required for me to, like, access a ship, is, you know, over here instead, right next to the waterfall cave. I went to the wrong cave by accident. But that's okay. Live and learn, I suppose. Also, I'm pretty close to getting to level 10. That's gonna be great for us. Then I'll have to do a little bit less work in combat. Okay, I need to destroy that rock wall. I think wind does it. Yes, it does. Do I have to switch back, though? That's the question. Oh, these Gomas are back. Apparently they're in this cave, too. At least I know to be wary of them. I suppose I can always use my own paralysis spell on them. And I leveled up! Awesome! Okay, now my max life is 192. Attack power is at 14 and defense at 24. Awesome! Now I'm gonna feel a lot more stronger. Okay, I don't need to switch up for these guys. I think I'll just stick the Sword of Fire for now. If I can kill both enemies in this cave with the same weapon, it'll be a lot more efficient. Also, these... These blue things? These tentacle creatures? They give you like 100 experience! And these guys give you 120! I'm better off level grinding here! I didn't think the yield would be this high! How much money do I get, though? Oh, only 30 gold. But still, the experience is great! Granted, what you have to deal with, you know, paralysis and stuff, but still... I think they both give you, like, 30 gold. But high experience! That means I don't have to kill that many of them to get to the next level. Oh, huh. I guess I can do something over here. That's not a mimic, is it? I have too many items. Uh, what should I get rid of then? I kinda wish I had a little bit more room to put items. I mean, I got a whole lot of slots right here. Like seriously, why can't I just use those for like uh, consumable items temporarily? That makes no sense. You know what? I'm gonna drop that fruit of lime. Because I found out what a uh, petrification actually does in this game. It stunts your movement, but only for like a few seconds. And then you can move again. It doesn't like outright keep you uh, petrified permanently. And then you're pretty much screwed and you just have to be at the mercy of your enemies. Which of course will show you no mercy. It just means you're slowed down. Oh, I'm paralyzed. So good thing I did get that lysis plant. Oh, don't go forcing me to use another one now. Thank you for dying. Now I can proceed. Why'd I aim that way? That guy didn't even flinch. I don't like that. These guys are actually just slowing me down. Okay, I can deke around them. Good, good, good. I don't think coming in contact with them would paralyze me. It's probably just their attack. Okay, we're good. Man, I got a ton of experience just in that one little juncture. Okay, these things can hurt me. You know what? I think I'm gonna switch to the shield ring for now. That way I'll take less damage. I won't be able to jump, but I probably won't even need to. Mushrooms are here, and bats! 
Does it matter what path I take? I don't think it'll matter. I'm gonna go this way first. Okay, did my shield block the bat? That was pretty cool. I still only get like one experience for bats though. That's very annoying because they just keep spawning. Alright, so I think we're gonna make it through. We just gotta take care of this mushroom. That I think that only gives you 80 experience though. Oh, that's also a mimic. Why did it go up in that part of the wall? There. If anything, mimics are an excellent source of money. I don't even think these bats can hurt me. Well, that might be the cause of the shield ring. Did my defensive value even change? I think it did. Okay, there's two ways I can go. I'm gonna go to the left first. Let's see what's there. Oh god, multiple paths to choose from. That's what I don't like. Because you can get lost so easily. And I bet you some of these pathways have nothing. So what's the point of them? Try just to lull you into a false sense of security and then you might die. this. Oh! Okay! Breaking that rock wall did absolutely nothing for me, and I just avoided paralysis at the last minute. Look at that! That was just one loop! There was not even a single treasure! So this room was worthless to me! Okay, fine. I'll go this way, then. Maybe this way will lead to something good. You know, or even just something in general. Cause I felt so hosed! I'm gonna go left first. I didn't even have a mimic! At least I would've expected that. Okay, what's over this way? Okay, my cell phone battery's at 15%. Yeah, I got a pretty old phone ever since, like, over a year and a half ago, and the, practically I have to charge it, like, every second day. It's so annoying. And I even go through, like, my, uh, settings just to find out what's draining the most battery, and it doesn't seem like it should be that bad. I have to, like, go through, like, a list of my ass and find what ones I can delete. Because most of them are actually quite useless. Also, I really should check out this path first. Why is this cave so damn big, anyway? Most of it is just, like, going around in loops! Okay, and another one of those walls. That, that's kind of ridiculous. Supposedly, there's a fog lamp here, which I think will allow me to use the, uh, ships over in Portoa to go to the next area. Supposedly, that's the case. Okay, I see some kind of bridge. I would like to get on it. Maybe I can do so from here. Oops, that's not gonna work for me. This will, on the other hand. What can I say? I love to get money. Okay, these guys are... Uh! Oh, that sucks. Now I gotta mix and match. Oh, I don't even have the uh, ball on. Okay, water will work just fine as long as I don't see those tentacle guys. I know these guys can poison you. So I want to avoid that at all costs. Oh, better switch again. These things are also very relentless. They really like to go after you. Oh, 
Oh, there's like a huge yield of enemies. Hopefully it's well worth it to go this way. Is this one... This cave is pretty long, I must say. Like, so much you have to explore. So many enemies, I'd like to slow you down. I just went around on a loop, did I? That is weird. Gotta find a way to get on that bridge somehow. Oh, maybe I can do so from this way. Unless there was actually two bridges. Oh, there's the fog lamp! Alright, I got it! Can I actually teleport out of a cave? Yes, I can! Okay, that's really good. Okay, I think I'm just gonna rest at the inn for the sake of doing so. What are my items like? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I don't need that many medical herbs. So I think I should just, like, switch back to the rabbit boots temporarily. And go to that cave I was to before. Wait a minute, actually, before I do... Let me see if I can actually check out that uh, cave that the uh, queen was to before. Because, you know, I wasn't able to explore all of it. But now I should be able to. That was weird. I was actually behind the fortune teller. There's a cave opening over here. Let me check out what's in here. It's time I told you the truth. The fortune teller is... really me! I entered town like this and heard people's problems. But the real me is neither the fortune teller or the queen. I am Asina, one of three great wise men who will aid you. I'll teach you the magic of recover. It can cure you of certain ailments. If you can eliminate the whirlpools and the angry sea, I'll teach you the magic of Barrier. You know, I could have gotten here first, and then I wouldn't have to worry about Lysa's plants or anything. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm in such pain. Do you have any herbs that would help me? Um... Okay, looks like I'm probably gonna need, like, one of these special kind. Let me come back to that later. I don't think medical herbs would do the trick. So, I'll be sure to remember that for future reference. It's nice to know that this uh, patch of ice is still there. It doesn't, like, melt. So with this recover magic, I won't have to worry about paralysis so much. Unless recover doesn't work on it, which would be very, very strange. Alright, so now let's just go over this way. And it's too bad that it actually won't work on swamps to, like, turn that into ice. That would make life so much better. And you wouldn't have to hop over it ever again. Why don't I hop over that way? As much as I should, like, uh, head over to the Angry Sea next, because, well, that's where we gotta go to progress the game. Whoa! That guy got super aggressive! Did you see that? Just went, like, 88 miles an hour and just didn't turn back time or anything. Oh, that's right, I'm gonna need fire against these particular enemies. Okay, that's cool. That works. Oh! My body is paralyzed. It's not ready. Okay, body's returned to normal, so paralysis can get healed by this. Alright, so this is where I was too before, before I actually had to retreat. Now that I don't have to worry about paralysis ever again, this barrier can now be broken. You 
you know, at this rate, we might actually get to the next level. Because, you know, I'm getting a ton of experience from these enemies, which is really good for us. Okay, this one looks new. Uh, but it didn't really give me much. Like, 10 experience? What the hell? Let me try wind against this guy. Yeah, maybe I'll just, like, use the wind sword for now. Okay, now I gotta switch to fire again. That is so inconvenient, but it's gotta be done. Let me go this way. Oh, one of those barriers. Alright. Funny how two of the caves that I was just in have pretty much the exact same music and the exact same colored walls. Some of the enemies are exactly the same as well. Have you noticed that? I mean, granted, these enemies give you good experience, except for those purple dragons over there that gave me... Looks like it was very little. Unless I miscounted something. And it's pretty easy to when you're paying attention to the battle rather than all these numbers on the bottom. Okay, so far so good. I am very curious as to what's in this cave. Let's do that. Huh. Look, uh, looks like I'm in some kind of grove. A Carissa plant? What? Oh god! I'm paralyzed again. That the bug just crept up out of nowhere! It's like, you took a plant, I paralyze you! Actually, you know what, before I leave, why don't we just, just try to go to the next level? I mean, you only gotta kill, like, a handful of enemies and we're there. Fire really sweeps through enemies super fast if you just keep the flame on screen long enough. If you're lucky, you might just need one attack to do it. Though when you're trying to, like, do this from a vertical standpoint, it's a little bit harder because of how the screen scrolls. It's better, like, horizontally, you get a little bit more room. Oh, I leveled up. Level 11. Alright, 208 HP, attack of 13, defense of 35, wait, wait, 25. Why is my defense weird? Oh, the shield ring, that's probably what it is. That makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna teleport out of here, and we're gonna go back to Brynmere. And the reason why we're going back there, of all places, first I'll just go to the inn, because it's a little bit cheaper. Eh, only 20 bucks. So, with this Carissa plant, I believe there is a village, like the Amazon village, that you can actually go to, and it was inaccessible to me because I didn't have the ability to freeze the water. I don't even know why I'm going for these enemies, they're super weak. Yeah, this over here. I couldn't do anything with it before. But now we can. And I think the Carissa plant will actually allow us to get in. Yo, a filthy man is here! Leave! Oh, okay, I'm sorry, jeez. Maybe if I actually talk to uh, one of the elders there. This is the house of Aurelis, our leader. This is not a place for you. Hmm, I guess I'm not allowed to go in this village yet, even if I do have the plant. I, I do wish to buy... Mirrored shield? Sacred shield? 9,000! Holy crap, this stuff is expensive. Okay, I got the Sacred Shield for 2,000. This feels like the ultimate hose, but it's well worth it. Alright, let's take a look at my defense, 1925. Sounds pretty good. 2725! Huge difference! It's weird that I do have this plant and it's still not working. 
Maybe I gotta use the Paralyze spell on it. Nope, that's not gonna work. I probably gotta do it from a distance. Because if I use the Paralysis spell, I might be able to still get in with the Elder. Like that, see? It worked! This is a sacred place! Go away, now! You filthy beast! Don't come any closer! Hey, I'll come as close as I want, okay? Um, am I stuck? Guys! Okay, they actually just dragged me out. You know what? I don't even think I'm supposed to come here. What if I use the, um, teleport spell? So I can come back here anytime I want once we actually get to the point that I actually can. So, that's actually pretty nice. So with this fog lamp, I should probably activate that instead. Let's head over to the dock. My father went out to look for his lamp. He won't be back for a while. Well, I happen to have a lamp myself. Nothing happens. Weird. Can I just... For some reason, I can't use it yet. Maybe I gotta, like, talk to someone. My girl from the Silent Lake came here. I think she went to rent a boat. Oh, you know what? I think I'm supposed to go to that hideout. That's what I'm probably gonna have to do. Let's try that. Of course, I have no means to warp there, but still. I guess we can just make a little trek. I'm trying to remember at this point of the game. So I've only beaten this game once, and that was many, many years ago. Oh, oh, almost just got caught there. So I'll just head straight north. We should be able to do something. Wait a minute, I don't think that's gonna work either. That's where I got the ball. I'd love to catch up with you, but I can't. So I think I have to trigger something else. I'll, I'll be sure to figure it out on my own. So for the next episode, we'll figure out what we gotta do with this uh, fog lamp. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.